All right. I, uh, I feel I've done all of you a, a huge disservice. Apparently. I mean, I, hey. Call me crazy. I watched the news. They showed a picture of Justin Trudeau in blackface. And I went, <laughs> And I immediately went home and made a video. Just thought it was funny. Right? <laughs> Little did I know that had I waited a fucking day, I'd have found out that it was not one one picture of Justin Trudeau in blackface. It was three. Fucking three. The dude's a lunatic. <laughs> three times this guy's been out in blackface. Well, it's all good though, because good old Justin, he's smart enough to understand the stupid line that will make all you people who think this is like a major fucking issue, it'll make you all go, oh, well, Justin's fine then. He blamed it on his privilege. <laughs> I say you not, he blamed it on his privilege. So while well, I, you know, I, I didn't understand how terrible it was from my lofty place of privilege. He placed himself above black people. Right? Like, whenever I talk about my privilege, right, uh, I, I kind of joke about it as if it were funny. Right? This dude says it like it's serious. When, when I was told what the whole privilege concept was, the whole privilege concept is that my life is just naturally so much better than a black person's life could ever be just because I'm white. So that means that I therefore owe suffering onto black people because I've had it so good just by birthright. It's like some fucking weird ass original sin thing. It's this let's see if we can use their own weapons against them. No. Uh uh. It wasn't right when white people did it way back when. It isn't right when anybody does it to anybody else. Now, if you can say we've evolved in any way, we have at least evolved in the way to understand that people are people. Well, not all of us. Some of us are still troglodytes, but nevertheless, most of us have evolved to the point where we understand that people are people. That's just that. Some people happen to look different than every other person in the world. So, right? Like, it, it's just... But anyways, so he blamed his, his privilege. He was so privileged. Everything in his white life was so good, he didn't realize that black people had it rough. <laughs> I mean, that to me is almost him admitting that when he was doing it, he was openly mocking black people. Right? Like, is that how I'm supposed to take it? Because he was so privileged, he didn't realize he was being a shithead? But he was intending to be a shithead? Or like, what? Did he just think it was fun to dress up as somebody else for a party? A costume party? Where kind of the idea is to dress up as other people? Uh, fuck sake, man. We get one day a year to dress up as who we want. No, we can't dress up as anybody except for white people. Well, I can't dress up as anybody except for white people. 
there's too many goddamn cool black people out in the world that I want to dress up like. So what, what, what am I going to do? Because eh. if I dress up like any of the black people, but I don't, you know, at least tan myself a little bit, people are all going to think that I'm fucking... What's his name? Uh, Eminem. I was thinking of somebody else, but uh, I can't remember his fucking name. Anyways, so, yeah, whatever, Justin Trudeau, <laughs> blaming it on privilege, he's so much better than everybody else, just naturally, that he didn't understand. Now, another thing that was brought up in the comments, God bless the person who brought this up. Because I actually want to have a fucking answer to this. I'm never going to get one because nobody ever takes me seriously. But I kind of want a serious answer to this. Does this break Canada's new Justin Trudeau created and enforced discrimination laws? Is this a thing wherein Justin Trudeau could be fined and or arrested? For having appeared in blackface and being prime minister. Or whatever the fuck it is that they have. I think prime minister. I don't know. Whatever. Right? Like, and here's another question. Do they have like a three strike rule? Right? I know some states, at least at some point in time, had a three strike rule. That if you committed three felonies, then you were out, motherfucker. You went to jail for life. Is Justin Trudeau possibly looking... And a life sentence for his repeated offenses. Or are we going to say that everything that happened before the law was enacted, that's all fine, whatever, who cares? Like, does Justin Trudeau have to step down as prime minister? Isn't that what these people always ask everybody else to do, to step down? I could have sworn that there hasn't been a scandal that's gone by in the past four years wherein the person involved wasn't demanded to step down. Are they demanding that Justin Trudeau step down? What the fuck, Canada? Is Justin Trudeau immune to the laws that he created? Like, what other laws is he going to create then? <laughs> It just, it just seems crazy to me. The whole thing seems kind of hypocritical, I guess. I, I don't know. Of course, that's what you expect from the lefties. Their, their golden calves are fine, but Louis C.K., uh, heaven forbid if he ever fucking perform on stage again because he masturbated in front of girls that said it was okay. But because he was famous... And they weren't. That's bad. So I guess the moral of the story is if you're going to ask somebody, can I jerk off in front of you, they better be your boss. <laughs> and they better be into it.